Okie doke. Yeah, first off, I'm, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to refocus. I'll try to take a, well, I'm certainly going to have to sleep before my uh, live stream on Saturday, but normally I don't like doing, um, I kind of like just trying to really set my brain uh, towards uh, uh, going over the live stream stuff on Saturday, but um, I was poking around with this and then I realized right over here, uh, um, number nine there for the Russians, they tried, uh, they uh, had an attempted breakout um, in their turn, which was just, uh, you know, this is all the 01 November turn, the Central Powers are finishing up here. Um, it failed. So this is two things. One, they're about to be, they're about to surrender, which is going to be uh, double the amount of demoralization points that they normally would have um, taken. So basically, if let's say they have five strength points sitting there, there would be 10 demoralization points they'll be taken. You know, if, you know, I'm like, I'm not counting cavalry and all that stuff. Let's, I'm just saying straight up infantry. Um, the, the reason, the second thing though, uh, that I was like, oh shoot, um, I'm going to have to look up backwards because it is important. Remember, uh, the Central Powers right now have 418 demoralization points. Russia only has 271. There's a month left. There's a massive... Uh, the Russians just take it, took a pounding here. And there's a huge, monstrous... Um, uh, well, the November massive attack that uh, the, uh, the Central Powers are about to mount. Um, in other words, there's a possibility that the Central Powers, they need every freaking demoralization point the Russians can uh, uh, incur. It's not funny. So why I'm saying this is I didn't clue into this. It says here, um, well, just, you'll just have to trust me. Uh, it's, well, you can look it up. It's, uh, it's in uh, section 26, demoralization points, page 16. And it says uh, two demoralization points for each infantry, infantry strength point that surrenders or is lost while surrendered. And that means that um, I'm going to have to check the combat back here in that attempted breakout when they had surrendered. Did I just give them uh, one for one things because they were surrender uh, surrounded so they should have doubled up even though you know they didn't surrender kind of thing and I should be checking that back I'm not gonna maybe go mental back but these like these are a few points that could add up for these guys so if these guys are about to surrender I'll tell you who they are and then that's it for them um, four holy smokes wait do you see how many de uh, demoralization points they take it's monstrous so, um, it's, I was like, holy sh, well, that's the way it goes. And that's why I was like, okay, wait a minute. You better start counting every point, uh, demoralization point here. So, uh, we've got the 12th Infantry Division with two strength points, uh, 48th Infantry Division with three, the 49th with two, and the 15th with three. And they're all going to, that's a total of 10, uh, strength points. They're going to, sur uh, surrender. That's 20 demoralization points. That's massive. Uh, and I'm going to move the 37th Infantry Division over from these guys over to here. So I'm going to get rid of them here now. And the 37th Infantry Division, they're a Hungarian uh, division, green. And they've uh, only got one strength point left out of their four. And they're going to move over to here. And I'll have to grab these guys and pop them into a... Four, and it is not looking good over here. Uh, the only other thing I did over here on uh, on this bit uh, recently is I moved the core, uh, core HQ6 uh, across over the Neister here to eventually be able to uh, do something here. At least we've got the rail line uh, here as well. And then I moved um, uh, these guys over here. They are the, uh, hold on, I can check them up. Uh, they're the 33rd Infantry Division and they moved over from here to here. Um, I'm not mounting any attack or any of that crazy nonsense. And then we just entrenched like maniacs, uh, which everybody's going to do. And uh, that's that for now. And then I'm going to move on to um, a little bit over to here. I, I think I just have to... Uh, actually, I don't think there's anything I really need to do. I just have to make sure that um, later on when I get to the tail end of this turn, I have to make sure that any recombination that could have occurred does occur. Uh, and then I just have to go way, way up 
um, uh, towards the uh, Prangle River front there uh, in Konigsberg just to make sure I can do a little bit of shuffling and make sure that uh, some of the spent units I just, I'm not I if they're if I've done them then I think I may have done them actually if that's the case then uh, I think um, I just have to check for a recombination and then uh, holy smokes I may be able to um, roll uh, well we'd go to 02 November and then I can roll for initiative and find out who the heck gets it. Oh my gosh, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, but uh, I better, like I said, I need to now focus on, because uh, it's uh, that's important to me, uh, the Saturday live stream. Okie dokie, that's it. Oh my god, and the battery's about to toast out. Okay, see ya.